Michelle, we heard that from cops that George is in critical but stable condition. Can you tell us if he's, is he conscious? Is he alert at this point? Um, can you share any details like that? Um, I, correct. He's in, he's in stable conditions. Um, so, you know, um, still, still being monitored, um, still uh, trying to see, you know, what, what will be the damages um, after right. everything is said and done. So, Connor, you were there that night, Sunday night, after the show. Had you both been inside? Did you go to Nardo's show? Yeah, so we actually both were VIP. We both had VIP tickets to go into the show. Mm. And if you look at the beginning of the video, that's me with the, the V shirt on right there. Okay. And I was I was just a few feet behind him when this happened. And it was just, I was stunned when everything went down. They were exiting the club and um, we were walking. We were, you could see I was walking towards Nardo too. We weren't. It's not like we were running or anything. George is just walking towards Nardo with his um, with his phone up, mm -hmm. and then the guys that were around him, they didn't hit him at first. They just kind of looked at him, and he was like, "Hey, can I get a picture?" And then out of nowhere, the guy hit him from the side and just knocked him out. And then the guy, the other guy, continuously hit him while he was knocked out. It's completely ridiculous because even even if you don't want someone coming up taking a picture of your artist or your friend or whatever's going on, to hit him and stun him is out of the question, but right. to continuously hit him after he's on the wall leaning, like not even responsive, right. it's just, it's gonna never happen. Have you been able to, to talk to George? Has he been alert? Have you been able to talk to him about what happened and, um, and what, what his you know, prognosis is going forward? So yeah, I mean, we, we've been talking to him and you know, we, we've been asking him questions about what happened, things like that. Um, not to go too much in detail. Right. Um, doesn't remember a lot. Um, so, you know, um, just, I have no words. I have no words to say about that video when I finally received it. All I know is I, I don't want this to happen again. Okay. I want, I, I want to make sure my son is safe, my son is healthy. I want to make sure parents out there don't get that call at 1.47 a.m. like I did, that your son is in the hospital and we need you to get here as soon as possible.